Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrills and fun Whoa. with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. Sir, Buck, if I had that beard of yours, I'd cut it off and stuff a pillow with it. Yeah. Of course, it's your face, and if you say so, a little trim to kind of neaten it up a bit. the law breaking. Court is now in session. Right there. And give me them firecrackers, young lady. Every one of them. Come on, the rest of them. Now, is the defendant guilty? Of course she is. We caught her red-handed, didn't we? Now, prisoner tomorrow, are you ready to hear the sentence? That depends on what it is. I hereby sentence you to make a pillar. Make a pillow? That's what. Now, Buck, you ain't the witness no more. You're now the defendant. Calamity is the witness. Well, I didn't do nothing. Look at that beard. Ain't it a disgrace? What will folks think of fair and square Ben the barber if they see that thing? They'll think he don't know his trade. Might even ruin his business. And why? Because of you. You, you twitching old grasshopper, jumped out of that chair and made my hand slip. Judge, therefore, finds you $10 and suspend sentence if you let the barber cut the rest of that alfalfa and make a pillow like I said. Twitching grasshoppers? Jumping alfalfa? Now, listen here, I got something to say. What? Well, I guess you're right. You bet I'm right. Calamity, go get the fixings for a pillow. And Buck, you get back in that chair, old man. Turn it, I've been wanting to do this for two years. Come on, get going. Time to get that stuff. You've got enough on there to make two pillows. Get that chair. The mail just come in. Well, there you are. Here's a letter for you, Judge. Oh, well, then court's adjourned. I mean, the barbershop's closed for a few minutes. Let me see this. Finally get rid of your whiskers, huh? Sure glad you made up your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what he's got to say, where we? Oh, it's more Bob Barton. Did I ever tell you about Bob? He sure did. You used to prospect together, punch cattle together, and he got rich. And then he went to Arizona. But he still owns the Double D Ranch out here. What's in the letter? Says he's coming out to stay on the ranch a while with his niece, Alice. I'll sure be glad to see him again, but there's no place for a man to stay and bring a young lady. Young lady? Yeah. How old is she? Uh, well, it don't say, but just a minute here. Don't you get any ideas of courting anybody. You ain't even prime size yet. When are they coming? Sounds like they could already be there. Bill, you ride up to the ranch and make them welcome if they've already come. Invite them down to supper. I'm on my way. And I'm going with you, Bill. I'll finish my sentence when I get back, Judge. Mr. Martin? Just who are you? Well, Judge Wiley sent us up here to see if everything was okay. I ain't Barton, I'm his foreman. I just came out to fix the place up. He'll be along later. Well, fellas, is there anything we can do to help? Why, yeah, there is. Get right back to where you come from and quit messing around. Hey, you 
you work for Mr. Barton? How come you had to break open the door? Listen, Sonny. I told you to get. So family. You leave my son out alone. Stay out of this way. Get out of my way. How about telling me why you had to break open the door? Lock was rusted. The key wouldn't work. Well, now, why didn't you say so in the first place? Mount up, Calamity. I'll leave your gun for you down the trail away. Is he dead? I don't know, ma'am. We'd better go back and check. Are you Miss Barton? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm called Buffalo Bill Jr. I do hope he's all right. But whatever happened, it was wonderful of you to help us. Uh, I wasn't much. I'm sure glad I was around, though. Get up there. Bob. Calamity, I tail it back to town until the judge Mr. Barton's hurt real bad. I'm bringing him in. You better get ready to doctor him. Oh, excuse me, Miss Alice, my sister. Howdy, ma'am. Oh, what a charming child. Charming child. Boy. <laughs> Whoever that Jasper is, he sure messed things up. We can still get rid of him and make sure Barton's dead. We've got enough sheriffs looking for us now. Another one might have heard the shooting. Yeah, maybe you're right. Sure I am. Alice can take care of herself. Nobody'd find out from her what's going on. Let's get back to that Double B ranch. First time we've ever had the Black Ghost around, Wiley Bill. Black Ghost? Well, I guess a lady like you wouldn't know about him, but he's one of the worst killers and outlaws in the country. Goodness gracious. Don't you worry, Miss Alice. From now on, you've got me and the judge to look after you. when he fell. Gee, that'll about break Miss Alice's heart. Yeah, it's a shame. Poor, sweet little innocent thing like her, practically alone in the world. She's about the prettiest thing I ever laid eyes on. Oh, uh, she says she ought to have her uncle's thing so she can take care of him. Well, whatever he's got's in his clothes. something for you, Judge. Ben Wiley, not to be opened except in case of my death. Must be his will. Looks like poor Bob was prepared for the worst. This is everything. 
Except the letter for the judge he had in his pocket. A letter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the judge seems to think it's a will. A will? Yeah, that's what he thinks. Is there something wrong with Alice? It's just that a, a will makes it seem so, so dreadfully serious. I won't keep anything from you, Miss Alice. Your uncle may live, but he's more than likely to be paralyzed. Paralyzed? Oh, how dreadful. Will he be able to talk? Well, I've seen cases where a man never talked again, but we can hope for the best. I'll just keep this letter right here in the safe, and I won't open it until I have to. I hope you'll never have to, Judge Wiley. You're as brave as you are, beautiful young lady if you'll allow me to say so. Now, don't you think you'd better lie down a while? Yes, thank you. It's been terribly upsetting, but I'd rather go straight to the ranch. Well, I'll be glad to take you. Oh, that's sweet of you, Bill, but I think I'd like to be by myself. You do understand, don't you? Oh, sure. Now, you do whatever makes you feel the best, little lady. Here, Lamberty, put these things in a bag for Miss Alice, will you? The ranch isn't far, and it's real easy to find. You go straight ahead and you come to the fork in the road. And to get to the ranch, you veer to the right. You can't miss it. Thanks. Just like you say, Judge, she's not only beautiful, but she's the bravest girl I ever met. Yes, sir. If I was 40 years younger, she'd be just the kind of a fine woman I'd like to make Mrs. Wiley. All I've got to say is, I sure am glad that you're too young for a bill, and you're too old, Judge. It's very unbecoming of the young to speak so disrespectfully of their elders. I wasn't speaking disrespectfully. I just don't like her. Why? Give us one good reason. Just because. That's no reason. Son, when you get as old as I am, you'll learn. That's a woman's reason. Of course, it don't make any sense to us, but it suits them. Even when they're sprattling like this one. Pay it no heed. Spratling. Well, it takes a woman to understand a woman, and I'm not a Spratling. After the judge put the envelope in the safe, there was nothing I could do about it. The old ghost. It's bound to be your uncle's will, and we've got to get it. Of course we do, honey, but not tonight. What if your uncle dies tonight, and the judge opens that letter? It's a chance we'll have to take, darling. The safe is locked. We couldn't get in it tonight. It'll be open tomorrow. Oh, this wouldn't have happened if that squirt hadn't butted in. Your uncle would be where he belongs, and you'd inherit the money like you've a right to. We'll get that paper tomorrow. We're sure going to try. Well, I can't wear this outfit riding into town. Somebody spot me in a minute. Couldn't you change clothes with one of your men? Yeah. Yeah, I could swap with Landers. He's about my size. Whoa! What are you doing with those firecrackers? Well, I'm going out to practice for the 4th of July. Practice with firecrackers? Well, now, that's a funny one. I left an I.O.U. I'll do dishes when it is my turn. Well, you better not practice around here. Well, I'm not. I'm going to ride out. Want to come along? No, I've got to watch the store. Judge has to stay with Mr. Barton. He's conscious now. He can't talk, though. He's paralyzed. Oh, he is? Mm-hmm. They're going to send for a specialist. Well, I hope he gets well soon. Then we can find out what really happened. Well, I know what happened. Hmm. You know what the judge says. There might be more than meets the eye. You better not ride too far. With a black ghost around, we can't be too careful. Oh, fool I'm not afraid of the black ghost. I'll blow him up with firecrackers. You might stop by the double B and tell Miss Alice about her uncle. Oh, I'll think about it. Miss Allen, I'm not much of a ladies' man, but I'd sure admire to dance with you. Oh, thank you. You know, I never met anyone like you before. You're so, so pretty and so... You know, I may not be frying size, but just any time you want me, and you get in trouble, just holler and I'll come a-running. I sure will, partner. Oh, call me Bill. Oh, Judge, I, I, I was just stuck. I know, I know. Having a bad attack to puppy love. How's Mr. Barton? Clear in mind, I think, even if he can't talk. 
I was just going to show him that I've got his message. Might make him feel better. Miss Alice. Good morning, Bill. How is... I'm almost afraid to ask. But how is Uncle Bob? Oh, well, Judge says he's much better, but he still can't talk. Would you like to see him? Oh, I couldn't bear it. Not if, not if he isn't the way he's always been. Well, I'm sure sorry. I, I sure wish there was something I could do for you. Oh, you couldn't do any more than you've already done. Oh, excuse me. Yes, sir. Is there something I can do for you? Sure. I'd uh, like to see a saddle blanket. Saddle blanket? We have lots of those right here. What color horse do you have? A bay? A sorrel? Well, here's a nice multicolored one. Double. Great, storekeeper. You better turn around, lady, then nobody will get hurt. What are you doing there? Sure, you're all right now. Oh, perfectly. It was only the excitement. And thank you so much. I hope you don't get a bad impression of Wileyville. We don't usually have such carryings on here as a rule. Well, I'd better get back to your uncle. Will he ever be able to talk again? Well, he might recover tomorrow. Might take years. Oh, poor dear. I'll give him the best care I can. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Glad to see you're all right again, but this time I'm gonna see you get back safe, and I won't take no for an answer. But Bill, no buts now. Black ghost is around here someplace. I followed this trail this far, but I lost it. All right, Bill, if you insist. I sure do. But uh, will you get in beside me and drive? Oh, you bet.
Looks like he got company. Wonder who it is. Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Keep driving. Miss Alice. Shut up. Miss Alice, all right. She's got that kid with her. <laughs> All right, kid. Get down out of there. I couldn't help it, darling. He insisted on coming. <laughs> Take him inside. You interfered once too often, Sonny. I got this. There's no use trying to hide anything from him anymore. But what are we going to do with him? A little dry gulching will take care of the junior hero. Tie him up, boys, and tight. Get out! Wherever they are, they aren't out front. We can get to the horses. Let's go! you sure was and your brave and beautiful maiden friend is right inside where you left her you come down off that roof okay but remember i told you it takes the woman to understand the woman is that so well you're still a spratling so when alice fell in love with that killer i thought i could make her change her mind up at the ranch wasn't any use she even plotted with the ghost to dry gulch me so they could get my property. Now it goes to charity. Oh, forget that. You're going to be around to enjoy it a long time yet. That girl sure pulled the wool over my eyes. Well, I guess there's no fool like an old fool like me. Except maybe a young fool like certain people I know. Don't you call me a fool. Well, don't you ever call me a spratling again. Why? <laughs> Buffalo Bill Jr. Now with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. Cause no one's quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill Jr. 